and a great opportunity for us to really uh, kind of get a little education, get a little reflection going, and it's time for Nonsense this morning. We always look forward to this on Tuesdays, and we always look forward to uh, speaking with Mary, uh, Sister Mary Dolores Gatliff, uh, who uh, served as provincial for our Toledo uh, province for the, about eight years and now is currently at Christ the King. And as we uh, you know, get into Thanksgiving, Sister Mary, how are you this morning? I am doing well. Thank you. We are thankful. Even though it's raining hard. (laughs) We're very thankful that you're with us this morning. Good morning, Sister Mary Dolores. Good morning. I was reflecting on November. As you asked me to speak today, I just love the month of November. It's such a rich month Mm. to reflect on God's goodness. And and I'm going to just mention especially three things that come to mind when I think of November highlights. Wonderful. The the season of fall, first of all. Mm. During November, the peak of those autumn colors happen. Mm. You know, the trees and flowers radiantly sing out their glory to God, and we witness it. I think of um, Gerard Manley Hopkins' uh, poem, God's Grandeur, you know, mm. that first line, the world is charged with the grandeur of God. And such beauty, I think, is just a glimpse of the goodness of God in all creation. Mm -hmm. And at the end of each day, I ask myself, do I really pause to soak in this beauty Mm. and then thank God for it? We can so take it for granted sometimes. The the, uh, second... um, Thing that comes to my mind, especially in November, is that this month begins with two beautiful feasts, All Saints Day and All Souls Day. Mm. And celebrating these gives us pause to reflect on the communion of saints. You know, every time we recite the creed, we proclaim that we believe in the Holy Catholic Church, and the communion of saints. And that communion includes three groups. All the saints in heaven, whom we remembered on November 1st, all those in purgatory, waiting in hope for their entrance into heaven, those we remembered on November 2nd, and then all of us on earth. We are saints in the making, Hmm. I would say, still traveling on our journey to God. So I, as I reflect on the communion of saints, I just think God is so good to give us this hope of everlasting life Hmm. for all of us. Uh, Some family members we know are already in heaven. Maybe some are awaiting heaven in purgatory, but we are also part of that communion of saints. Amen. And sister, as people gather for Thanksgiving, obviously there's the joy of being with one another, but there's also the sorrow uh, for those who are not with them, not sorrow for them as much as sorrow uh, for us who, who are missing our loved ones. That's right. That's right. And often it's stories of the loved ones that come up at Thanksgiving. Mm. And so their spirit is still with us. And and that's the third thing that I came that came to my mind when I thought of November and its richness was this wonderful celebration of Thanksgiving, just two days from now already. Right. A day set aside to recall in gratitude God's many gifts and blessings. Among them family, deceased and living our friends, and especially our faith, Hmm. a day for giving thanks. So I would just end by saying, let's take time on Thursday to remember and to give praise to our good God for so many blessings. Amen. Thank you, Sister Mary Dolores. Now you go to the great banquet of Thanksgiving as you head to Mass. Please keep us in your prayers. I, I will do that. Thank you. Thank you, Blessings sister. to all the listeners. Thank, Thank you. you. And Thank happy you so Thanksgiving. Much. Yes. Thank you. You too.
Bye. Oh man, just a, a great reminder. Yeah, uh, there's so much to be thankful for, and there's so 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 often we just dwell on things that uh, take us away from the thankfulness that that attitude of gratitude. Well, and we have that beautiful word in our Catholic lexicon, Eucharist, which just means Thanksgiving. And mm. so when we boil the whole thing down, I've always said we'll never we can never be more generous than God because God has already given Himself in the Eucharist. How can we be more generous than that? And so, uh, so we can't, but we do get to participate in that and our own generosity grows through participating in the Eucharist. You become what you eat. It's one thing I love about Thanksgiving is when, uh, you know, uh, the extended family all gathers around. Yeah. And, and then before the meal, we always, we recount individually going around the table. What, what are you thankful for? What are you thankful for? What are you thankful for? And it's, uh, it's really neat to see, you know, how, uh, these uh, thankful thoughts yeah. materialize. It's beautiful. We tried that. We tried that at my house once, and three out of four said, "I'm thankful I only have to see you once a year." Yeah. And they're like, that's not the purpose of this. And so, no, 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 that's not right. <laughs> Just I kidding. Love it. I love it. <laughs> All right, let's see. I can't believe we're already uh, closing in on the 8 o'clock hour. I know Dave's going to try to stump us. Sister Mary Dolores, how fabulous oh, was awesome. that? Thank yeah. you, sister. Thank Woo. you for that wonderful nonsense. Yeah.